um, we're just making this like simple game about protecting the earth. And there's this character, he starts in California, he goes around the world picking up trash. It's a lot of math and technology in it, so it's like, I to, like before I do something, I have to think how it's gonna affect something else. When I grow up, I want to be a surgery doctor. An architect. A lawyer. I want to just live in the moment and try to figure it out what I'm going to do next. AMD Changing the Game is AMD's global education initiative to inspire kids to learn in a more meaningful way. It's been really gratifying to see the success of the program in the last two and a half years. We launched it in June 2008 and we had two or three partners. We were in maybe two communities in the United States. And then this year, we've gone from one country up to six. Uh, we've added China, we've added Malaysia. Uh, we recently approved uh, programs in Germany, Canada, in the Middle East, and Abu Dhabi. What's really exciting is seeing how educators are now latching on to the idea of using games as an educational tool. The Global Area curriculum here at East Austin College Prep is at the core of, of what we do. Um, not only do we find that it is helpful in STEM, but it also helps our students in all of their writing skills. So not only are they able to look at the science and the math and the different objectives of what we're doing and break those down, but they're also able to then take those and cognitively process those and take them to those higher levels of thinking. And for us as teachers, the challenge is to make it fun and channel them in such a way that they learn the engineering, the math of computer programming. When kids are playing games, they get some basic good skills, um, such as teamwork, collaboration, analytical thinking. But when you get kids involved in developing games, those skill sets go up exponentially. These skills are all being used and they're all coming together in a way that's interactive, in a way that's active, active learning. It's an intersection between education and technology and it's a way to inspire kids to learn uh, because they're working on something they love anyway. One of the things we realized when we started this program is that in order to reach kids and to give them opportunities to, to create games, we needed some tools that were simpler, easier to access. And so we proactively funded Activate. Kids go up to this website and go through a series of steps that enable kids to create games. Scholastic Art and Writing is a contest that's been around almost 100 years. Well, they added a video game category last year and asked AMD to be the official sponsor of that. The second one is the National STEM Video Challenge, which is an annual contest to give kids the opportunity to create games and then compete for prizes. GameStar Mechanic is, a, is another tool that is produced by Eli Media. We have partnered with them in the sense of creating what's called the AMD Social Impact Channel. Wyville is another partner of ours. Wyville is a virtual world, uh, similar to Second Life. These tools then enable kids to go on to other tools. And what we really want to see with the program is the ability for to introduce this concept to youth. And then they can then go from tool to tool. Hopefully someday they'll be a game developer, or maybe they'll be in some other kind of technical field. So it gives them an opportunity to see themselves and do something that they never thought they could do. And that's huge. When you see that spark go off in a kid, uh, then you know you've done your job. Great programs rely on great partners. The Boys and Girls Clubs of America, the Games for Change Festival, Scholastic, Parsons, the New School for Design, Small Science Workshops, Science Buddies, Global Aurea, the East Austin College Prep Academy, Wyville.net, Skillpoint Alliance, Girls Start, Change the Equation, and the Institute of Urban Game Design. Kids love to play games, uh, whether that's in the United States, China, anywhere in the world. Gaming is just a part of youth culture today. And so we think it's, uh, it's really the right way to uh, approach youth education, particularly in the areas of science, technology, engineering, and math. Those skills lead to opportunity, and AMD Changing the Game is helping to, to, to make that happen.